I, I want to switch gears here. I'm going to switch to another keyword, which just a more simple balloons San Diego. Uh huh. And talk a little bit about um, local search in Google. Yeah. Um, because this is where you show up as number one. Balloons yes. San Diego. Sandy Missouri's company, Balloon Utopia, is right up on top above the uh, local search right here and number one in local search. This is yes. you, right? That is me, yes. So how, how uh, do folks go about doing the same thing? You know, it's, it's still the same thing. I, I mean, I, there's only a few things that I've done beyond my video marketing strategy. Um, you know, I've written the books. I've I've connected my website to my Google Plus account so that I have the author, which is you know the author tag, which is why you're seeing my photo there. Um, every once in a while, if I remember, <laughs> if I remember to use Google Plus and to put my links out in, and I do. Um, but the truth of the matter is, the only thing that I do on a real consistent basis is putting out my weekly videos. The uh, the by the way, folks are. 2,690,000 competing pages for Balloons San Diego. And that's everybody from, you know, helium distributors to uh, to blimps. And the flower companies and, right. yeah. Um, so, I mean, this, this is a big deal. And this is where the playing field has been leveled by Google so that the little guy can go right to the top and compete with the biggest guys out there. And I don't know about right to the top, but, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, how long did it take you to get here? Well, so this is this is um, where it gets a little bit tricky because you know my website went up in tw in 2000, so I had very good organic rankings from the beginning just by virtue of being one of the first ones out there. It's my continuing efforts that keep me there. I mean, I did see over the summer some Google dance happening, and I slipped off the first page. They were serving up more directories. You know, I, for a while, I, I I even thought maybe I was the vic you know had some sort of penalty because I couldn't find myself at all, other than in the local results. And then for a while, they were trying to combine the organic and local results together. Um, so the other thing to it's remember. hard to say how long did it take me to get there. I, I've done it with other blogs and other projects. Um, where I would say three to six months of releasing videos consistently one a week. I think the other thing to remember here is that we're looking at this on my, my PC, on my, my desktop, but mo most people are searching for this using Google Maps or, or they're, they're on, on their cell phone in their car um, driving around and, and they want to find out how to, how to find somebody who has a prob who can solve a problem that they have. And this goes right to the front page of any device. Um, right. iPad, iPhone, cell phone, smartphone, wherever they're searching for it, and it goes out everywhere. Yes. And uh, you also, I, I want to touch on the other part of this, which is it's not just Google, um, especially now with the advent of social media, um, Facebook and Twitter and, and Pinterest and all of these other places. Um, are where you need to be because some people will just search on Facebook and only go to their email once in a while or they'll they'll actually search within Facebook for a solution to their problem and we're looking right now at at your your Facebook page your smiling face with uh, Hoda and uh, Kathy and Lee, Kathy Lee. Yeah. yeah I mean and this this is just awesome I mean congratulations girl. that was so much fun that was tearing it up for sure yeah so, that was that was just amazing Talk to me a little bit about your, your social marketing strategy. Um, I wish I could say that I was consistent with the social market, social media marketing. Um, it, it's very much Shoemaker's Children in my case. Um, I'm pretty good on Facebook, but my customers don't live there. Um, but, uh, it, you know, when I remember, I do try to aggregate content and put out content that my followers might be interested in. But um, but again, I have to say that the only thing that I do absolutely consistently is my video marketing. Is, I think is putting out my videos one a week. I mean that is that is the one strategy that I absolutely hold to. And personally, what I think you know, I, I mean, I definitely think that you need a hybrid strategy that you're really you know bringing in everything. And I think that you should have a a calendar that you're doing things on a regular basis. And I, I wish that I could say that I was better at that. But if you're only going to do one thing and you can you can you know do those videos and send them out once a week, that's going to take you far. 
and it, it's not immediate, you know, it does happen over time, but over time that's going to give you the best ROI. And and the key to that the key to that is really knowing a your keywords, right? And also knowing what are what is your audience looking for. So people don't want a commercial. They don't want a video on why am I better than the other guy. Uh, you know, if you have if you have maybe some of those mixed up in your other videos, that's fine. But for the most part, what you need to do is give out helpful, useful information that people are searching for. And so then they'll find it. They'll find your video. Learn to trust you. Learn to you know that you're not you're not hustling or whatever. You're a real person. You have a real business, and you're a real expert. And um, you, you know, just just doing that, and and then putting those links out those video links out into Facebook and putting them out into Twitter and putting them into Google Plus and putting them into LinkedIn and putting them you know into all of the other places if you weren't going to do anything else you would have a pretty good strategy now of course doing more is better and being consistent on everything is much better but like I said it's it's kinda shoemaker's children here I mean even as as much as I advise my private coaching clients you know to to Maintain a regular social media calendar. Um, I'm not so well. Good. <laughs> I think the uh, the, the new uh, elements that we're going to be working with, like this, we're experimenting with live casts and uh, playing with some new technology. Uh, Webinar Jam, which is really only about a month old. Um, I know you're reviewing this as part of this process too. Yeah. But it's just going to get better and easier for the little guy to make this content less expensively. And to create a, uh, you know, my plan is to create a podcast at least one a week, and I'd like to do more like two or three a week. And as part of the system that we use, we break these interviews down like we're doing here today into little bits that we, we put out into YouTube and all the other video sites and put out into uh, all of the social networking sites, and that's now baked into the new software that we're using. And uh, it's, it's a pretty exciting time to be a marketer. You can, you can put people on the front page of the internet in short order for whatever it is that they're doing and then you can help them gather the the people who whose problem they solve and lead them to making a decision to work with you if you have a solution to their problem and you and you are able to communicate that properly um, another part of the system I'm not, I'm, that wasn't really the the purpose of this today but you know the uh, system of capturing people and leading them to a solution and then selling them things um, is part of this process too but I want to stick to our, our topic of keyword research um, and how to use it so Sandy do you have anything to add on that score that I'm, I'm missing no I think that's I think that's exactly right I mean you know I think um, I think the biggest thing is just um, the more the more um, the more consistently you do it the more likely that you're going to hit, uh, you know, it, it really is kind of a, a challenge to get into your customer's head and figure out what is it that they need, what are they asking for, and what words are they using? Because we so often, you know, we're, we know what words we want to use, but that's not necessarily the words that other people are using. So, for example, I might want to use the word twister to describe somebody who does modeling balloons that's a jargon word for my industry. It's more likely that somebody searching for somebody to make balloons for their party is going to look for a balloon maker or a balloon modeler or a balloon sculptor and not necessarily a balloon twister. Right. And and so that's um the more you do the more likely that you know just <laughs> sheer volume and numbers the more likely that uh, it sounds like we got some drama going on downstairs spring break, right? Um what are yeah, you, the more, uh, the more likely book. that you're going to interrupt gonna... here and again let everybody know we're talking with Sandy Masori. She's the the owner of Balloon Utopia in San Diego. She does events for uh, large and small, um, and not just in San Diego, but uh, she's also a, a, a marketing expert. She's written a couple of books that are number one bestsellers on Amazon. Uh, I think you talked about the first one. The other one is the uh, Event um, the, Planner's the Essential event. Guide. Yeah, the Event Planner's. Let's see, there we go. The Event Planner's Essential Guide to um, Balloons. Tell so, us about it. So this this book is written for um, event planners or people who plan events, and in it I interviewed 12, um, 12 people, nine other balloon artists, and three event planners about um, everything. You know, f fiascos that they've had, um, advice that they have for people, um, their favorite events, different types of events. 
And and the thing is that, you know, people, when they think about balloons, they think, oh, yeah, for kids' birthday parties, I, I know what balloons are, you know, that's if you, if you have a small budget. Well, my message is, first of all, although I do birthday parties and I do bar mitzvahs and I do private events, my real thrust, my real focus is balloons as a marketing vehicle. So integrating them with the um, lead generation systems, using them as, you know, why do corporate events need balloons? Because they want to attract attention, because they need to do some branding. I mean, it really is part of their marketing. And so my challenge and opportunity is re-educating my clients that they should think about me or hiring the balloons right at the beginning of the event planning process and not at the very end. Traditionally, balloons are kind of like, oh, well, we have a couple hundred dollars left over. Let's just throw some balloons in. And I'm trying to get them to change their paradigm so that they look at balloons as part of their marketing suite, which is usually the first budget allocated. Okay. Um, and and so that's uh, that's kind of how it all comes together for me because I know a lot of times people go, oh, balloon person talking about marketing? That's that's kind of strange. You know, I didn't expect that. Well, um, I think it's it's brilliant and, and it's true. Um, I, I'd kind of like to wrap this up. I hear your kids in the background. They must be getting hungry. Um, I, I, I would like to ask you, Sandy, if somebody uh, was just starting out in, in a business right now, um, what advice would you give them as far as getting their, their name and their brand and their product out in front of people? Okay, so first of all, it is not optional to have a website. You must have a website. Now, having a website does not mean that because you build it, they will come. But you must have a website as just the very minimum thing. And then I would say that your next, the next thing that you should do, I mean, besides obviously setting yourself up on social media, uh, the next thing that you should do is sit down and plan your video strategy and plan maybe 20 videos at a time that you're going to send out one a week. Ideally, you know, for sure sending them to YouTube, but ideally if you can send them to multiple, um, to multiple uh, video sites, um, Steve, I know this is something that you do. I know that you work in the in the same kinds of systems that I use. Um, so, you know, you don't and and you're thinking like, oh my gosh, this is such a big commitment. You don't have to do it over 20 weeks. Take one day, film everything, chop it up, and then schedule it to drip out one a week. Now you don't have to think about it for five months. Right. It's, it's, it's uh, fix it and forget it, and it's all just going to happen. And yeah. when the video comes out, you know, then you can go and push it out into your social media and to your other places because if you can get eyes on that video as quickly as possible it's going to do better. Um, you, you know the more relevant Google thinks it is the more people it's going to suggest it to and and so if you're not going to do anything else that's where I would start. Get your website, get your lead generation system, right, if you're and and this was one of the things that I, I know today we're talking about keywords and video marketing but I really struggled with the concept of the whole follow-up thing. I didn't want to make a list. I didn't want to follow up with people. I just wanted them to pick up the phone and call me. And now that, you know, it, it took me like four years to really understand it, and now I'm sitting there kicking myself. Like, uh, you know, I could have been doing this for 20 years already. And and only now am I really starting to leverage the whole concept of the list, list building. So, so really the sequence is this, is you've got your website. On your website, Ideally, and again here I'm going to freely admit that I oftentimes I'm Shoemaker's Children and that I haven't done this completely the right way, but ideally you want to have right up there top of the fold your call to action. Get on our email news list, newsletter, you know, get our email newsletter is not a good call to action. Who wants more newsletters? It's got to be compelling and it has to be congruent. Then you're going to have your videos and those videos at the end of it, that call to action again. Get this, whatever it is I'm promising you, by coming to my website, right? So the whole purpose of this is that you're building your list. So then when you write your book, when you have something to sell, you have a direct relationship that you own with your audience. If you uh, would like to uh, have Sandy help you start on that process, if you happen to be a new business owner or an existing business owner, I put her... Uh, it's a little fuzzy here, but webcoachforyou.com is your, your link, right, Sandy? Yeah, that's my, that's my coach. So that's my side business is um, as <laughs> it just kind of happened that I was taking so many classes that other people asked me to help them and then I kept, you know, getting certified and taking more certifications. So my yeah. side business is that I coach other business owners on how to take control of their own marketing. 
And then if you are planning a party, if you happen to be seeing this and uh, would like Sandy's expertise. Yeah, well, balloonexpert.com, that's my media site. Um, Market with Balloons is the corporate corporate balloon website. And what's your phone number? Uh, 619-339-8024. I'm very easy to find, though. If you look up, you know, any combination of the word balloon in San Diego, you will find me. You'll find my little picture there um, or my name. I, I mean... I have to laugh every once in a while. You know, you have friends that say, oh, I couldn't find your phone number. That's why I haven't been in touch. And I'm like, you know, I'm the easiest person to find online in the world. Okay. So. And uh, I am in the process of pre-launching my book, Oracular Marketing, which goes through these seven steps for dominating any niche for any product, service, or business. Oh, I can't wait to read it. If you'd like to uh, get involved in that, I'm giving out the introduction and the first couple of chapters as they come back from the editor. Um, you can go to oracularmarketing.com. That's O-R-A-C-U-L-A-R marketing, all one word, dot com. Um, or you can, uh, let's see, here's the page for that. Um, you can do, uh, um, it's uh, 619-722-3263 is a number where you can call if you need my, my help. Or if you would like, you can uh, text hashtag oracular, if I can get my face up here again, um, to 58885, and uh, you'll get a little little text message that says you agree to receive it, and then I'll, I'll send that inter- introduction to the book directly to your inbox, and I'll uh, likely be doing a, a promotion when it, when it is published where I'll, I'll pretty much be giving it to my, my folks in my community. So uh, with that said, Sandy, I, I really appreciate you coming here today. You are, are just brilliant, and you're on fire. Thank and, you, uh, and it was it was so great doing this. And thank you for sharing webinar jam with me. I was I'm glad to to finally get a chance to look at this. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun playing with this, and uh, everybody should be doing this. So, uh, um, talking to experts, getting uh, getting things out of people's head and onto video, onto the internet, where where they can help as many people as possible. Um, anyway, um, I thank you again very much, Sandy. I thank you folks for joining us. This is Steve Larvick, your online marketing guy. Uh, I thank you very much for joining us and uh, look forward to talking to you again soon. Wish you much success. Thank Bye, you. Sandy.